guys here we're going to be making a another Kodi video this time showing you how to install Kodi on your fire tv using your android device instead of a computer and the uh tools and programs on your computer so this method is a little bit easier not so um intrusive uh all you need is an android device this is a one plus one running um android lollipop 5.1.1 and what we're going to be just doing is showing you, we're going to get started actually. It's going to show you the applications that are currently on here. Sorry if it's a little blurry, a little out of focus here, but uh, as you can see, there is no Kodi um, and there's no launcher. So if we go to the menu, we get the standard launcher here. Um, and then to access all that, you'd have to go to settings every time and then applications. Um, but since it's not on here, what we're going to be doing is showing you on the phone on how to get there. So the first thing you want to do is um, you can get the apps first. Um, and what we want to do with that is go into the Play Store. This method is assuming you already have Kodi on your phone or your Android device and you have your Amazon Fire TV already set up. If you do not, you want to do that prior to doing this video here. So we're going to just tap into the Google Play Store and we're going to do, first step we need is Apps to Fire. You're going to see it pop up, it's the first one there. Again guys, sorry if the camera's a little out of focus or blurry. So I uninstalled it for the sake of this video. So you can see we're going to install it. Doesn't take that long. And it's done. It's actually installing now. So we're going to not open that right now. So I'm going to move this. Just to get that out of the way. The next app you're going to need is something called Firestarter, which is actually a launcher. This particular app is not in the Play Store, but I do have the link for it in the description of the video below if you are watching this on YouTube rather than Facebook. Um, so after you have this on your phone you want to get the necessary information from the fire tv so you're going to put the phone out of the way and you're going to want to go to system and then you want to go to developer options you want to just make sure that android debugging and apps from unknown are on if they're not on you want to turn them on then you also want to go to about. Once you're in about, you're going to go to network and then just copy down your IP address because you're going to need that for the apps to fire to push the Kodi app to the uh, Fire TV or the Fire TV stick. Once you have that information down, you're good to go and you can actually start using the program. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to the phone here. We're going to launch apps to fire you can see we have no IP address there so what you want to do is once you're in this you want to swipe all the way to the end to the right there so you get to set up it's going to be at the very end you want to type in your IP address I'm going to just type mine in this is the same IP address that we grabbed earlier I just showed you Okay, you're gonna hit save. It's gonna let you know that the IP is saved. Then you're gonna go to wherever your apps are stored. I'm just gonna go to local apps because all my apps are local. They're not on an SD card or anything like that. If you ever want an SD card, you're gonna go to um, the option for Fire uh, SD cards. Um, so just gonna scroll through here. We're gonna look for uh, Cody first, just so we can show that. Okay. And I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Again, it may be a little blurry, but we have Cody and we're uh, waiting for it to install. And you should get a message at the bottom to let you know that it's connected to your Fire TV. Now, this one's going to take a little bit longer. That's why I wanted to do this one first because it's 35 megabytes. This is pushing it to um, IP to your IP for the Fire TV. So it's going to be installed there. And we're going to set it up as well so you can see that. We're just going to wait for this to finish. Once it's done, you'll let, it'll give you a message saying that the installation was successful. So it's still installing. 
But I'm also going to show you what the Fire TV launcher is. So you guys can see that and if you decide to use it you can if you don't want to that's okay it's just a matter of preference i personally like it this makes getting to cody and all the other apps i sideload to my fire tv a little bit easier because you can sideload more than just cody to your fire tv so here you can see the installation is successful so now that we have that installed we're going to go to fire starter it's one megabyte it's connected didn't take that long we get the message that's okay so we are actually done here with the phone we're not going to need it anymore just simply because of the fact that we have all the information that we need so put your android device away phone tablet whatever you got no longer need it we're going to be looking here at our Fire TV or Fire TV Stick. So we're going to go now to Applications and we're going to manage installed applications and we should see now Fire Starter and Cody. I want to show you Fire Starter first so we can get that up. So this is what Fire Starter is. This is a non-root launcher so every time you start your Fire TV or Fire TV Stick you're going to be shown this menu rather than the old menu. Again because it's a non-root launcher it's an overlay. So you're still going to see that old Amazon launcher for a brief moment but it's not there uh, permanently. This is what is the overlay for it and it's a lot easier to manage and get through. Um, you can also see that Cody is there, so we can launch Cody straight from there. I'm actually going to move it. I like this feature a lot. I'm going to move it to the front because I like that. Uh, so there's Cody. I'm going to set this up for you guys just so you guys can see that it is working. And it also it's the latest version. It's the updated Jarvis, um, which is the latest version for Cody. Alright, so we're just going to do the same thing we always do. It's going to be the TV um, add-ons. Again, if you have a different build or a different preference, you can use that as well. I'm going to go File Manager. I'm going to go Add Source. And just type it in. And if you watched my other videos or followed my other videos, then you already know this repo, this repository, this source, this build whatever you want to call it. Um, it's my favorite just because it's simple, it works, and there's no mess behind it. There's fusion.tv add-ons dot ag. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And you just can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it A123. Most of the time, if you've again watched my videos, you see I call it Fusion, but I'm just going to let it be. Say A123, hit OK. You can see A123 right there. And then you're going to go to Settings from there and then go to Add ons. Hit OK. Install some zip file. You're going to see A123. You're going to select start here and go to plugin video hub wizard. You're going to wait for that to update. Once it's updating, you're going to back out from there. You're going to see that in the bottom right corner. Back out. You're going to go to programs and then you're going to go to program add ons, config wizard. You see that right there. Again, sorry if it's blurry or out of focus. I'm going to select Fire TV because that's what we're working with here. And it's like, yes. I'm going to wait for that to download. Now, this all just depends on your internet speed. You'll be able to get that installed. It looks like it's almost done. It's going pretty quick here. to see once it's done that the add-on was successful.
So now it's just extracting the zip file. And you'll be able to use the fire starter from here. All right, and we're done. We're just gonna hit OK. And from here, you can see that it's all set up. So we're just gonna go to Exodus so we can test it out, make sure everything is working, show you guys that it does work. We're gonna go to Movies, People Watching. From there, you know, wait till it's done. From there, we're gonna select the first thing that's available and for copyright reasons, we're not gonna say the title, nor we're we gonna play the whole movie, but we're just gonna select the first option here. You can see it's working in the bottom right-hand corner. This is gonna provide us all our playable links. And from here, we're gonna just select the first one I know that works. And once that loads up, you're going to see working in the bottom right hand corner again. And once more, just for copyright reasons, we're going to pause the video just so you can see that it does work, but we don't want to get in trouble with this. So it is now working and we got it to play by installing it from our Android device. Now, if you have any questions or concerns on any of the steps or the applications in this video, um, please let me know leave a comment on the YouTube page or on the Facebook page doesn't really matter this has been uh, Firestarter and Cody from your Android device to your Fire TV thank you for your time